treats on the regular. I'm eating Billy Doe Meats, which is lamb, goat, and veal. But North Star Bison is another company that I'm affiliated with. I sought them out because I really like the gamey meats, which are bison, um, elk, they have rabbit. So if you like gamey meats, I would highly recommend them. Today I'm making their baby back ribs. <clears throat> um, so these are not baby back, but bison back. And it's super simple. They take 25 minutes to cook in the pressure cooker. And if you look at these, You'll see that there's a, actually a good amount of fat in there. Bison is relatively lean, um, but the fat is one of the most delicious things I've ever had. And these back ribs are loaded with collagen. So a lot of that white stuff people would think is fat, but it's actually collagen and it's one of the yummiest things. So I like to cut these ribs individually. This is one of the things that I actually thaw out. Generally I'm cooking from frozen which helps to reduce histamine. Um, but I like to thaw these out so that I can slice them up individually before I cook them. Um, and you can use this recipe in your crock pot, but I would highly recommend getting a pressure cooker, which also is gonna reduce histamine and reduce cook time by a lot. So in my pressure cooker, I'm gonna add apple cider vinegar. This adds a nice kind of tangy, smoky flavor to the ribs. And I'm gonna put that in the bottom along with regular water. And instead of just putting the ribs directly in the liquid, which generally you're doing that in a pressure cooker, I'm actually gonna use my basket. You can also use a trivet, but the whole purpose is to keep the ribs right above the water. So the pressure cooker cooks by steaming things. If you come and look at the amount of liquid that I put in the pot, the only amount of liquid that's needed is enough to create steam. Um, so putting this basket in, it's just barely touching the ribs. There is no specific amount. I have people ask me all the time, how many cups of water? If you really wanna be precise, you can read the instruction manual that came with your pressure cooker, but don't overthink it. If I'm filling water without the basket, it'll be probably halfway full, never fully submerging the meat. This is not a slow cooker. This is not a crock pot. So my point is that it's really hard to mess up. So I'm just gonna pressure cook it on high for 25 minutes with the seal shut. And then I will broil them, which is just a finishing touch that's not necessary. So now I'm just gonna take these out and broil them. And you can eat them as they are, they're fall off the bone. But it adds some nice crust 